Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. As we uh, take a look at uh, what's going on this afternoon, I thought I'd do a quick video right now and then we'll do another one later when all the weather models are in for uh, the rest of the weekend and for Thanksgiving week. But really amazing satellite here where we have this coastal low that's sitting off the, well east of the coast of Virginia, just sort of spinning away and throwing back clouds. Uh, to southeastern New England, you've got this narrowing area of dry air with uh, a nice uh, day across much of the northeast, actually from Maine all the way down to Florida. And there's our cold front marking the leading edge of much colder air and some snow shower activity. And you can see back through here the higher cloud tops on the western side now beginning to swing across the western half of Pennsylvania and heading for the coast. So let's show you what's going on on the surface map at the moment. And you can uh, see the front here now getting into western Pennsylvania. Temperatures ahead of the front in the 60s and even some 70 degree readings showing up near Washington, D.C. and down near Richmond. And behind it, temperatures are mostly in the middle 30s with gusty northwest winds. So this front is going to swing uh, eastward as the day goes on. Actually, uh, when you look at the isobars, the front is more is already past Pittsburgh. I'm not sure why the... Uh, weather service display draws the front further west. I guess it doesn't catch up for about three hours or however they, you know, whatever their criteria is when they update these things. But uh, the, the winds have shifted northwestward uh, in Pittsburgh, and we've got westerly winds across West Virginia. So the front is actually right in this particular area. So I'll, I'll redraw it and um, so it can be correct. So the front is actually like that, okay? Um, so that's where the, the, the actual front is at the moment. So we will uh, see what happens as it goes on through here. We're going to get some showers this evening, but when we look at the uh, GFS today, it's actually started to come around to the idea. There's going to be some kind of second low that's going to form over uh, western Long Island or southern uh, over southern New England. And it has snow uh, up in central Pennsylvania and western Pennsylvania starting to get um, into it. And then during tonight, uh, it actually has some measurable uh, precipitation in the form of snow all the way down into southern Delaware now and even in New Jersey. Now, look, bear in mind that for these areas as you go to the south, you know, this is just you're probably going to see snowflakes maybe flying through the air. But not much more in the northwestern corner of New Jersey, maybe, and certainly in northeastern Pennsylvania and in points northward, there you're going to get some accumulation. Now, it lifts on uh, northeastward, and we do get some lake effects, a lot of lake effect snows that are going to break out throughout upstate New York during uh, Sunday uh, into Sunday night and Monday, particularly in northeastern, uh, up in uh, north uh, central New York, as you get up toward Watertown and on the uh, eastern shores of Lake Ontario. It looks like there's going to be a pretty substantial lake effect snow event there, and then it gradually diminishes over the next couple of days. I'll put up the snow maps for you from the models, and the GFS really goes crazy up in uh, north in upstate New York, and also on the Adirondacks, which uh, they're tapping some of the development of this low. So there's uh, every bit of one to two foot snows that are being forecasted up for that area and it actually has some fairly substantial amounts uh to uh, six inches along uh, the pennsylvania new york state border you can see it here and it also actually brings just a touch of measurable snow uh down into parts of western new jersey and also over long island and the hudson valley and into connecticut uh, some uh, light accumulating snows into northwestern new jersey and you can see two to three inch amounts uh, over in northeastern Pennsylvania. Just for comparison, we'll look at the NAM model, and it's a little different in that it doesn't really have too much on the southern edge, um, and also not as extreme with regards to the lake. If the uh, the snowfalls up in upstate New York, uh, although, and though it has a a patch that it indicates a little further south than the GFS has, and you know, and also extends all the way back down into western Pennsylvania, and then eventually that snow gets up into Vermont, New Hampshire, and of course up into Maine. This is a uh, total snowfall uh, ending Tuesday morning, uh, Tuesday afternoon. So much of this is gonna fall, of course, through Monday rather than through Tuesday. Let's see if the Canadian model is in. And then, 
Yes, it is. And, you know, they all pretty much are in line. The GFS usually winds up uh, being the one that shows less than the others. And for some reason, it's showing the most. So kind of want to pay attention to that. It uh, doesn't often do that. So you can see the, the outline is pretty much the same. So a pretty good, a pretty intense uh, lake effect snow event for the first one of the season. So we'll be looking forward to that. And uh, I've got some friends up there that oftentimes shoot videos of this. So if you want to check those out when they when they come up, I'll have them on my Facebook page, meteorologistjoechoffee.com. And, of course, all the latest posts on the website, meteorologistjoechoffee.com. I'm sorry, the Facebook page is facebook.com slash meteorologistjoechoffee. Okay, you don't need the .com for the Facebook. All right, so have a great uh, afternoon. Uh, I'll uh, pu put up another video uh, late this afternoon when I come back from some fishing, and we'll uh, take a look at what the models are doing for the longer term.